muscles we we underutilize. Okay. And, and and listen, if it was easy, why why do we want to do it? If it's easy. Why do we want to do it? What do we want to do to teams? We want to play a way that they can't. We push ourselves to the limit every single day, every day, and then really we 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 jump. We jump over that line. Okay. We draw a line. And then we figure figure out a way to get across that line. We figure it out. Okay. Are we live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Hey, we about to go to San Antonio, my city. Two ten. So I know. About to get it tatted on me. Uh, this ain't my thing, bro. State, everybody was happy because we did it again, especially from last year when we won state. So I was ready to like re redo all that again. And then we had the whole pep rally. Like, like I've never been a part of something like that. Like, like that's something I don't ever forget. Like the whole school was around us, and then they had the band dancing and like the drum line and stuff. And then the huge bus. It just it felt like a dream, really. So we had the pep rally, everybody's excited. We're on the bus, we're getting ready. We can't wait till the moment actually happen. And then we got the bus with the practice. It was an intense practice, but it was fun and good at the same time because you know we get to play in San Antonio in front of everybody. And it was our last practice with our, all the seniors and everybody. That practice was hard. Like it was intense, but it was like our best practice we've had. And like we were ready and everything too. So, and then we're gonna get on the bus. And, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Can't wait to get to San Antonio, man. For real, that's home. Can't wait to be home. I remember we went to go eat at, um, I think it was Bill Miller's, I think. 
And then we're just watching like all the NCAA stuff, like getting canceled, like all the teams pulling out from the tournament. I'm like, what is going on? Like all this stuff going on. And like it just felt like it had like the end of the world type feeling if I'm being honest. We got done with practice and then we was getting back on the bus. And when we sat on the bus, coach told us we couldn't play because UIL for, for Corona. So everybody was sad, we was all mad, and we just felt like all this hard work we did for nothing because this is our only goal. And that's when the UIL was like, like, <laughs> I could, <laughs> I was just like, damn, I couldn't even believe it. The UIL, I don't even want to talk about it. And then I was just really hurt, you know, when I seen that on my phone saying they canceled this, I mean, I was just like, I, I ain't talked to nobody really on the bus, so I mean, it was just really, it wasn't the day I wanted to remember, so I mean. Practice today. Practice is always tough. You know, you just come in here, we run, and then we run, and then we run again. First day, you know, we got our stretches in, and then we did a quick little run. We had to make two Stephen at Boston, which is four down and backs in the suicide. We had to do that twice. It's pretty tough. And then we had weight room. We went heavy in the weight room, killed our chest, we did a lot of chest work. Then we came out here, we ran again. And then we start doing, we start working on our shot. And as soon as uh, our shots was getting off, we just went straight to hooping. I mean, I feel good. I mean, get to play with all them. I mean, it's a good win. I love to compete, so I mean, it's just good. What could I have done better? Man, take care of the ball, probably. Like, yeah, that was it. But other than that, we got the dub, so shoot, I'm chilling. I'm good. Really, it's real hard, but I, I believe that, like, it's really just for our mental, you know, just the way, like, how hard we work is just really a mental thing, you know, just, you know, like, our mind, like, we, our mind can tell us we tired, really, but, like, you know, we, can, we still got that, another, another game, like, another jump to us, I mean, that's all, like, just working hard, so, and I really, like, I've never worked, like, back home, I've never worked this hard, so, it was just, it was really new to me, like, last year, so, just working hard and, like, it's not, it's still not easy to today, but I'm getting better. So, I mean, I just really like the hard work that we're doing, so. Well, I'm committed to. We'll see. Uh, you can expect me more talking more, because I'm not really a talking person, especially on the, like, on the court I am, but not outside the court. You see me talking more, just telling people where to go, be more as a leader, and then doing whatever it takes, charges, scoring, rebounding, whatever. So it just, it's a bigger role, especially for me. It's last year, I don't really have a biggest role since the last year, so 
to fit their shoes and it's, a, it's an honor and just to play harder and just do whatever it takes. Uh, stay tuned, stay tuned for the next episode. We got something special coming up. Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Once upon a time, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing and slow down. Baby. We took a trip, baby, baby, we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby. Oh. Where did these be at when they said they're doing all this and all that? I'm giving you pounds, you can't even pay me enough to react. Shawty come sit on my lap, hey, they say a drizzy just snap. This in between us is not like a store, this isn't a ghost. Yeah, hey. And Dayman catch a lob. He ain't catch a lob. It was a bad pass.